Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. We're in John chapter 5. It's been a little while since we've been together. So let me start in verse number 31. We're talking about the witnesses of Jesus. Verse 31, John 5. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. You have sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Yet I do not receive testimony from man, but I say these things that you may be saved. He was the burning and shining lamp, and you were not willing for a time to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than John's for the works which the Father has given to me to finish. The very works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. And the Father himself who sent me has testified of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form. But you do not have his word abiding in you because whom he sent him you do not receive. You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. So we see that Jesus has said certain things about himself, but verse 31, the idea behind it is that without corroborating witnesses, without corroborating evidence, uh, it is not valid, okay? So he moves on, and he talks about John the Baptist. And then from there, the father bears witness of him. And then I want us to notice this today, this very, very significant. Um, Look at verse 36. But have a greater works than these. Um, uh, The very works that I do, I bear witness of me that the father has sent me. So he's talking about the miracles. And miracles were not just something that was unusual. They were above the observable patterns of nature. They were verifiable. They were instantaneous. Uh, They were subject to sense perception. And when they saw these, they should have been like Nicodemus. And Nicodemus lacked a lot, but he was uh, honest enough. He was able to recognize no one can do the things that you do unless God is with him. We read that back in John chapter 3. Now, it's interesting that because of their hard-heartedness, They weren't willing to recognize it. In John chapter 10, beginning at verse number 24, we find this interesting statement by the religious establishment. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, how long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Well, he had been telling them plainly. He had been demonstrating the works that uh, uh, the father had given to him, yet they refused to accept it. Now, why was that? It wasn't a lack of evidence. It was a heart problem. Today, when we refuse to accept the evidence of Scripture, it's a heart problem. Join us again tomorrow for your Daily 180.